Good morning, viewers. This is Brent. Today I'm going to look through some of these. this rough I've got. I'm looking for a dark piece of synthetic material. So I've kind of found this piece here, very dark. And uh, it's a, a dark amethyst type of material. So uh, I'll get the light closer to it and we can see the color here. Okay, this is about a 30 carat piece of synthetic spinel. Looking from this, with the light from this direction, it's a a purplish blue and then it's more of a red from from the end but it's very dark so uh, I hope it's going to turn out to be a, a pretty decent stone but it, it may just be so dark it's it's not going to do much Okay, I'm going to use epoxy to adhere the stone to the top stick. There we are. I'm going to cut the stone in this variation of an old mine cut. Okay, I've started cutting the facets and I'm uh, roughing them in with a 360 grit lap. Here I've uh, done the girdle and cut two of the three sets of pavilion facets. And I've used the 600 lap. So next I'll put the 1200 on and recut. Okay, I finished cutting the girdle and I've polished the girdle. I'm using the bat lap. It's a tin lap and I'm turning it the slowest I possibly can. And uh, I've charged the lap with 50,000 diamond compound. I've finished polishing the gemstone and I'm ready to transfer. The DOP transfer is now completed. So once the glue is dry, I'll start cutting the crown. Now I'm going to start cutting.
cutting the first of the crown facets here. Okay, I've cut all the way around, but I'm still not deep enough. But I'm cutting with a 360 grit lap, and uh, I want to stop there with it. And I'm going to switch to the 600 lap and start fine cutting and bring the girdle to the right thickness. Okay, I'm cutting with the 600 lap and uh, I'm getting there. This is the uh, third row of facets. Okay, all the facets have been cut. I'll start uh, pre-polishing soon. Okay, it's time to start the pre-polishing and I'm going to use this zinc plus lap. And I'm going to use 3,000 grit paste. I put the paste on in some drops of olive oil. What I really like about this tin, not tin, but uh, zinc plus lap from Gear Loose is uh, it's kind of an aggressive cutting lap and uh, I can really bring the meats in nice if I don't have them quite right. So it's really working out well for me. I'm now ready for final polishing and I'm going to use some 50,000 diamond paste from techdiamondtools.com Right, polishing the table. Just about finished with this stone.
Okay, the stone's finished, so uh, let's take it off the top and see what it looks like. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Perfect cutting, but I don't think anybody is a perfect cutter. 